So in this video, we're going to talk about calculating fields within Ninja Forms. Now there's two different ways you can do this. If you're creating something like a product order form, Ninja Forms has built in fields specifically for that. But we can also use calculating fields, which is a different functionality in order to calculate any kind of total based on form input. It doesn't necessarily need to be currency. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. First, we're gonna create a product order form. Now this doesn't necessarily take money, it's just for calculating a currency total. And then with the Ninja Forms extensions, you can integrate that with something like PayPal to actually take money. Now I don't really recommend using a Forms plugin to sell products. If you're gonna be selling products, I do recommend that you use something like WooCommerce or an e-commerce plugin for that. And we cover that if you select it in your functionality list. But if you did really just want a basic order form and you didn't want any of those other e-commerce features, then this is something that you can use. So in order to do this, we're gonna go down to our pricing fields in Ninja Forms. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on the product field. And this is where we're actually creating the product. So let's say something like a widget. And then there's an option here that says use inline quantity. Now you could, if you leave this enabled, it's gonna have an inline quantity field, but there's also, let me just put in a price, say $10 and click done. But you can see there's also a separate quantity field. So whichever one you kind of prefer, you can have it as a separate field or you can have it in line with the product. It doesn't really matter which one that you do. But if you select the quantity field, then you have to select in those options. I'll just show you quickly select a product and you would select from the products that were in the form. But since the, on this form, we're only gonna have one product, we can delete this quantity field and we'll just leave that in line. So we have a product field and a quantity field, and now we can have a shipping field and that's gonna add a shipping cost to our product form. And then we can add a total field. And that's gonna give us the total of whatever our product form uh, comes out with, right? So quantity times price. So let's just publish that really quickly so you can see what that looks like. We'll call that simple product form. And now we'll go to our pages. We'll create a new page and we'll call that Ninja Forms simple product form. And we'll insert that form and publish the page and then we'll take a look at it on the front end so you can see how it works. So we have our widget, we have our price which is $10 and if we add one, you can see that it's going to add $10 for our one widget, $10 for our shipping for a total of 20. And you can put the currency symbols and all this other kind of stuff but this is just a basic order form so you can kind of see how the built-in product order form works. And I'll link to some documentation to Ninja Forms about how you can get even more complex with these. But just at its very base, this is how we would do it. We create a product, we create either a quantity field or we use inline quantity. We assign a price, we can optionally assign a shipping cost, and then it will calculate the total for us. And then if we've integrated with one of the payment extensions from Ninja Forms, after I hit submit, it would bring me to PayPal or whatever the payment processor was. So that's kind of the built-in calculation with Ninja Forms. But what I really want to show you is how we can do calculations with, which don't necessarily have to do with currency. So the other way that you would use calculating fields is if you wanted to, for example, create a complex quote form or if you wanted to create something like a quiz. And essentially what that means is that each answer would have a particular value and it doesn't necessarily need to be currency. It could be with a quote form, but with a quiz, it would be a score. So let's create a new form and it'll be a quiz form, right? So the first thing that we'll do is we will create a drop down select field. And so you can use any field that can have a number as a value in the sense that with our drop down or our select or our checkbox, when we look at the options, we see this calc value. So obviously numeric fields can be used, but you can also use the drop down selects and the other way, other fields that have multiple options. And we can assign a calc value or calculation value to that answer. So for example, if I type in a question, who was the first president of the United States? And I'll make our first option George Washington, 
our second option, Abraham Lincoln. And our third option, King George. And I assign a calc value of five for the correct answer and zero for the others. And I'll just make King George the default option so I can show you the calculations as they happen. And then we'll click done and we'll create another field. What is two plus two? And we'll say five, four, and three. So this is our correct answer and these are our incorrect answers. And then we'll click done and we'll just publish that form and click on publish, all right? And so now we'll go to advanced and we'll click on calculations and we'll add a new calculation and we'll say quiz total. And now we can use under the equation box, we can use this merge tag to say which fields we wanna calculate. So first we'll do our first field, who was the first president, right? And then we'll add in a plus sign and you can use any mathematical uh, you know, numbers or symbols in order so you can create fairly complex equations if you want to. We're just gonna do a simple one with addition, but you can get pretty complex with these. And then we'll add in our second question. And so this is our quiz total, right? And so depending on how you set this up, so for example, if you were using currency and you were setting up a quote form and you were gonna have several questions with a value assigned to each, and at the end was gonna be a total quote, you would wanna show them their total on the form. And so in order to do that, we're gonna create an HTML field and we're under the default value, we're gonna use this merge tag icon again and we're gonna insert calculations and we're gonna click on our quiz total. And that way we're gonna see the total right on the form field. In addition to that, when you're getting the email, it's also going to send you that score. So even if it's, if it's not on this HTML field, it's gonna be stored in the back end, so you'll be able to check the score there. And you can also insert that hidden field into the email that you're going to get. So we don't necessarily have to show it to the user because it's gonna be any calculations are gonna be saved in the back end, and we can also have those emailed to us. But just so I can show you with an HTML field, we can also show the user. So I'm gonna publish that, and then I'm gonna create a new page. And we'll do a quick Ninja Forms quiz. And we'll add in our form. And publish. And then we'll check that out on the front end. And you'll see that we have a simple uh, quiz here. And I, my current score is zero, or my current quote is zero, or whatever it would be, and if I select George Washington, now it goes up to five. And if I select four, now it goes up to 10. So that's a pretty simple example. And these decimal points can be changed on the HTML field or whatever it is. You can show how many decimal points if it should be a round number or something like that. And now this is a pretty simple example using a quiz, but as you can see, you could also have more complex equations and you could create an entire quote form where at the end they would be shown a number. So it's not a form where they're necessarily gonna be paying, but we wanna get a total at the end. And you can also, like I said, get very complex with those equations. So that's the basic of calculating forms. I will also link to the documentation from Ninja Forms about this so you can read about it in more detail. But really, that's the basics of it, and you can kind of go from there to create more and more complex forms. And now if you just want to do a product order form, we can use the built-in functionality of Ninja Forms for the, the provided fields, or we can use this calculating fields functionality in order to kind of make our own calculating forms.